One of the great new features of Illustrator CS6 is Image Trace, and it introduces a brand new tracing functionality to help you vectorize raster images. Now, in previous versions of Illustrator, there was a feature called Live Trace, but this is different. In fact, if you have a document that has Live Trace elements in it, you'll have to update it to take advantage of the new Image Trace technology. But the new tracing feature works differently, and you should see cleaner tracing paths with less paths, anchor points, and better colour recognition than in Live Trace. So what we've got here is a Photoshop file, and I've got three layers. I've got a vignette layer, a foreground image, and a sky image. What we're going to do is start by selecting the foreground image, and we can just click on the Image Trace button here, and that will convert it to a traced object. Now, it will use the default setting, which is to make it black and white. But if we come in here and choose Low Fidelity Photo, what it's going to do is create a kind of posterized photo look, which I actually really like. So let's have a look at how it does that. It takes a little bit of time to process, but it comes out with such a lovely result. Now, if I was to choose High Fidelity Photo, it would give me much more detail, but I actually really like the low fidelity look myself. So once it finishes processing, we can then open up a panel which gives us access to more controls. And we'll look at those in detail a little bit later, but I'll give you a quick overview of what those features are. Now, you see that looks much more photographic, but I actually prefer the low fidelity option. Let's click the palette and have a look at that. And here it is over here. So with high fidelity photo, it's using 15,707 colours. I don't need that many, so I'm going to go to low fidelity photo. And again, I can choose my presets in here. I can also choose the mode of image trace, whether it's going to automatically select colours or use what we call high colour or low colour, grayscale, black and white, or just outlines. Underneath that, we can choose what we want to view. Do we want to see a tracing result with outlines, just outlines on their own, outlines with the source image? Well, I'm going to choose tracing results because I want to show you what we're going to be getting in terms of final output. And then down here, we choose whether we want to use full tone or do we want to limit the colours. It's still using quite a few colours, 1,432. If I say limited, I can start limiting the amount of colours. And if I pull that slider down, so let me just stop that updating for a second. So I can click on stop at any time just to stop it updating. Update the colours and then it will update the preview. So it's nice being able to stop the preview halfway. And if we have a look at the colour values down here, you should see that update quite soon. So there, we've got 16 colours now. That's actually a few too little, so we're going to go up to about 24, something like that should do. Now underneath that we have advanced options which are normally closed. I've opened them up so you can have a look at them. And we have controls over paths, corners, noise. And then we have method options and options for things like ignoring white. So now we've got 24 colours. That's a little bit more reasonable. I quite like the kind of desaturated look of that. Now path fitting, higher values means a tighter fit. So generally with the higher values, we'll get a better result. But you have to kind of do a trade-off between the number of paths and anchors and the quality of your image. So do a little bit of experimentation with these sliders. So you will get a more accurate representation if you put that on a high setting. But to be honest, I actually quite like the look of the low settings because we get these really nice, lovely curves created down here on the pebbles. But you'll see you get a little bit more detail with a high value setting. I'm going to turn off preview for a second and I'm going to bring that down to low. Now corners, higher value means more corners. I'm going to bring that down to low as well. And I'm also going to leave the noise options down quite low as well. And noise allows you basically to ignore areas of a specified pixel size. So say you had little flecks of colour in the sky and you didn't want those to be picked up, you could use your noise settings to adjust that. You have then the options for how the paths are created for the methods, and then you can do things like snap curves to lines as well. Once you've made your changes, and I'm just going to put the colours up again to 30, and we click on Preview, it will show us our finished result.
Now, as I said, it does take a little bit of time to process, particularly the boundary refinement takes a little bit of time. But when you see the final results, I think it's worth it. And after all, you could go and make a cup of tea while it's having a think. So it's always nice to have a little bit of time to have a cup of tea or a cigarette. Not that I should advocate smoking, of course. I don't smoke. I gave up 10 years ago. So once I've done it, once I've finished my live trace options and I'm happy with them, I click on expand and that's going to create vector artwork for me. If we go into my layers panel and I lock the other layers, I can just double click on this, go into isolation mode and just delete the areas I don't want. So that white bit in the sky, these little white bits in the deck chairs. And now I have some really nice, unique vector artwork. Now, if we go back, we can then do the sky. So I could select the sky image. And this time, I'm just going to choose one of the presets. I'm going to choose 16 colours for the sky as my preset. And I think that should be enough to give us quite a nice sky. OK, there we go. A lovely sky for the background. And again, you can go in and edit it, make changes if you want to. So that's a little bit about Image Trace. It really is a fantastic addition to Illustrator CS6 and it gives you some really beautiful results for your artwork.